Hello, Kirby Lammers with Mind, Body, and Business. I'm sitting here with Peter Thomas, my new mentor, by the way. And uh, we're going to have to tie each other down to the chairs because we're full of energy. And that's what you have to have with Mind, Body, and Business. First of all, welcome to the show. Great to be here, Kirby. Thank you. I like to ask a very important question for my guest. Absolutely. Who is Peter Thomas? He's the guy sitting right in front of you. Yes, he <laughs> in is. In the show. Um, he's a 72-year-old, um, happy, contented, um, enthusiastic man. Yes, you are. And I've been reading his book, and it's called Be Great, a book I've been studying, actually, not reading. There is a difference for retaining. And learn many new things in your book. You have five fabulous foundations. Thank you. Now, I'd like to take those foundations, and I want it just to apply each foundation separately okay. to our health, our wellness, our overall being, mm -hmm. and how that does work with our business, mm -hmm. and how it increases the entrepreneurial spirit. Okay. So let's take values, mm -hmm. and how values actually work with overall wellness. Okay. The... Um it's a great place to start. The values, one of the reasons that values to me are so critical is that, uh, I was saying earlier, you've got to learn what your values are just as simple as your multiplication table. You know, one times one is two, two times two is four, you go on and on and on. And you've got to understand what your values are because when people don't live a life in alignment with their values, when they do things they really don't want to do, consciously or unconsciously, they live a life of stress. Stress will kill you. Like going on a diet. Like going on a diet. Um, where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by that is that people, they, they have values. They know they need to go on a diet, oh, right. but they don't want to go on a diet. Right, right, right. So it goes against their values. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, uh, yeah they're, 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 they know they should, but they're not. Yes. And so they continue to eat against their values. They want to be healthy, mm -hmm. and that's stressful. Exactly. That's, but it's, it goes to the workplace. It goes to everything. Um, it just goes in every component of your life. Once your values are figured out, and then you, you try it, you try, and live your life in alignment with those values. It's not easy. Uh, I always say when your values are clear, your decisions are easier. Like, for example, my values, health, freedom, happiness, and integrity. So there's nothing that I would want to do that didn't align with that. Sure. Now, you, it's interesting you talk about wellness of mind and body. Health is my number one. Yes. So I worked out this morning. You know, at your beautiful gym here in Houston at the university. Right. And it was fabulous, by the way, the energy of all the kids and, you know, the, 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 it was one of the best workouts I've had. Mm -hmm. um, but I make a point of doing that every day because I know I couldn't live the life that I live and travel and do all that if I weren't in pretty good shape, you right. know. But, I, but it's, it kind of is collective. It's always one. Health, mind, and body all go together. Absolutely. So. Yes. We're on the campus here of University of Houston, Bauer College of Business, that's very important right. for me to say. And you're working out over at the Recreation and Wellness Center. Right. And you're working out with all these college students. Right. How did that go over? I never noticed. I was too busy working, and there's some people in pretty magnificent shape over there. Well, of course. It was a great workout. I, I bet you were leading by example. I bet <laughs> that those students were saying, Who's that old when guy? I'm 72. <laughs> can't I do that? <laughs> He's that old guy in there. No, but, I don't know. Uh, but you do. You you lead by example. Right. And look, reading through your book and and it there's, works. There's some great stories in there and living with those values each day mm -hmm. and how you stay true to those values are so important. Explain to our viewers mm -hmm. how do you stay true to your val values? You know, people Kirby, get complicated with that. Yeah, you know, because you said each day, you know, each second. You're tempted each second. Every time I go to the Starbucks counter and have myself a nice Starbucks, sure. I'm looking at that cookie, those cookies and those Gosh. pumpkin rolls and that. So it's not each day, it's every second of the day. So you've got to monitor and watch yourself. Um, th there's a saying I wrote down one time that's an absolute oxymoron, total freedom is absolute discipline. Total now that's interesting. It's absolutely discipline. So if you're disciplined, absolutely disciplined, then you can do anything you want to do. Sure. Because you're able to do it. You know, most people don't have the choices. So there, it is a lot of work. You know, I don't want to make light of how difficult it is to live a life in alignment with your values. Mm -hmm. it, it's, but it's not difficult once you get started. You know, habits, they say that it takes 30 days to break 
a habit. Yes. Start a new habit. And the best way is like if you chew your nails or if you do something you don't want to do, don't do it for 30 days and you, you, you haven't, you've got rid of it. By the same token, it takes 30 days to get, start a new habit. So, you know, I remember when I used to run marathons a lot. I don't do it anymore because my back's too sore if I do it too much, you know. But when I used to run marathons, some days I hated to run. I just hated to run. I loved the way I felt after I ran, but I hated to run. But instead, of when I, when I got up in the morning to run, you know, Kirby, I remember saying, okay, don't think about the run. Just 